So today at Hinkley Point C, we're going to be talking about cranes and lift operations. So firstly, I'm going to be talking to Frank. So I'm here with Frank, who's a lifting technician apprentice. Tell us a little bit more about your job. My job uh, as a lifting technician is mainly based on operating the tower crane and then also part time to time to slinging the load and I'm working on the ground. And which specific crane is yours? Uh, the one behind us is a saddle. That one is my crane. Now, you said that you're doing an apprenticeship. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit more about your apprenticeship programme with Bylaw? I'm one of the eight actually who got in the first programme with Bylaw as a lifting technician apprentice. Uh, the apprenticeship is taking two years. Uh, most of the training we've done in the first three months and then basically we gaining life work experience at the moment. What's the best bit of your job? The sunset and the sunrise. Oh, fantastic. Because I imagine your view is the best incredible. view on site. It's honestly incredible. Starting the day every day with a beautiful sunrise. It's just inspiring, you know. It's, it's like I love my job. How important is something like maths to be a crane operator? It is fairly important because you have to estimate the load you prefer to lifting. If it's going to be heavy, what's the weight it could be? If the crane can handle it. But if they want to be a good crane operator, first they need a good handling skill. If you like uh, gaming, if you're good with the controls, that's the skill you need up there. Is communication important in this job? Definitely, that's a key. So the guys on the ground, they basically my eyes and my hands. Yeah. So they are my eyes, they are my sense. Yeah. And I have to follow what they're telling me. If, if we lost connections, then we stop because we can't work without communication. Did you always want to be a crane operator? When I was a little boy and walking around in the cities and I looked up in the skies and then these machines just always fascinated me. So I, from since I was a little boy, I wanted to be a crane operator. So we're now at the top of Tower Crane 1C7. Frank, what was it like the first time you actually came up here? I still remember freshly for the first time I've been up on the crane because at the beginning before I climbed the crane, I was shaking. I have to be honest with you. But when I got up here, and then if you look down, it looked like a big playground for big boys playing with big toys. So from the top of Tower Crane 1C7 at Hinkley Point C, it's been amazing to hear all about lifting operations. If you want to find out about Hinkley Point C, Young Hinkley Point C or lifting operations in general, just click on the links below.